Welcome back to the Steve Holmes Porn YouTube channel. I don't want to talk too much. I was shooting the last two days. Uh, on Thursday I couldn't do any BTS. It just didn't fit to the production. I didn't want to be in the way. But on Friday I had the chance to do a nice interview with the director, Jackie St. James, and with my scene partner, uh, Kenna James. So um, I hope you enjoy this and if you do please subscribe or share or like I'm appreciating it see you bye bye Hello, Jackie how are you I'm wonderful I'm very happy to be here with you thank you uh, I think that's the third movie we do together or the third one I I can mm. shoot for you Third or fourth, I think, potentially. Yeah. You did the Danny swap. You did. Uh, you did one where you were having sex with Chanel. Yes, I remember you did that. Carmen Caliente. Okay, you did. Oh, so okay, maybe it's the third movie, but you've done more scenes because you did a couple scenes in one movie. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But I think it's a third movie, the yeah. third script. Yes. And this is something also special because the most of the time I, I shoot, I don't get a script. So you shoot <laughs> real movies. You have a Thank story, you. you come up with the, with the ideas, with the concept. Yeah. Uh, and I know that this is the exception, maybe 10% of the porn shoots, maybe less. Yeah, probably do scripted, that's correct. Uh, and I personally like scripts. I personally like to jerk off to stories even more than to movies. Sure, me too. Because yeah. then you're invested in the sex, you, the people's relationships and yeah. I don't like two people just walking in a room and having sex. I don't know what the context is. As a performer, I prefer two people walking in a room and having sex because it's... Sure, easy. Yeah. <laughs> but as a consumer, yeah. I I like the story. the story. Yeah. I think stories are sexy. Yes, me too. But only if they are good stories because some of the porn stories are yeah, are bad. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be writing stories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what is your approach? Can you tell me how you got into this uh, business? How what was your motivation and what is your motivation to uh, be one of the few who shoots story driven movies? I got into the business uh, because I I used to watch a lot of porn and my guy friends would send me links to clips and there was a clip for um, a movie called The Wedding Day. It was shot by New Sensations. Eddie Powell was the cinematographer. And my friend goes, you're not gonna believe this is a porno. There's a script, the girls are pretty, it's like well written. And so I researched the company and saw that they were doing a screenwriting contest and my buddy was like, Dude, write a porn script, it'll be fucking hilarious. And so I reached out to Eddie Powell on Twitter and I said, Hey, um, how do you write a porn script? Like, how does that work? And he said, Write a story that has sex. That was what he said. And it was yeah. the greatest advice ever. So I wrote uh, Dear Abby. And that was my first script, and it won AVN's best screenplay that year. So it was a, it was like, oh, my first script, I win, this is amazing, and I just fell in love with the business after that. And wrote and directed, and yeah. I congratulations, first Thank of all. Thank uh, you. Second, I, I think you make it look too easy because. Um, you met my wife mm -hmm. and um, she had the idea of writing scripts for me once uh, yeah. and then I always had to stop her I said yeah that's great I like the story I can jerk off to it but I cannot shoot it right. because it just blows the budget yes. there's so many things you have to keep in mind yes. to, uh, to write a script which is doable with our budgets yes. which are not the same like Hollywood no uh, I just talked to my my dear friend uh, Joanna Angel who uh -huh. just published a book which is a novel an erotic novel uh -huh. and one of the things she said what um, she enjoyed writing this book is that she doesn't have to limit herself yes. be because she also uh, writes great scripts but in the script sure. she always have to keep in mind that your limited budget, budget. yeah and who's booked that day and and then like you know people always say oh yeah it's easy to write a porn script it's not you are thinking about budget you're also thinking about okay i have steve holmes on this day so i can't have him talk to this character that's booked on this day because then i have to pay steve to be there 
to talk to this character on another day. Like, yeah. there's so many things that you're shuffling around, and then the other thing is you have to think about page count. So, like, if I have 12 to 13 pages with you on one day, I'm going to have to cut your lines because I'm like, I can't shoot 13 pages in a day and two sex scenes and all the, set, the stills and BTS and all that crap. There's no time. Okay. Let me uh, just get a little closer to you because I have to make sure that I pick up the sound with, with, with all the background sound. Okay. I'm sure I, I have it before. Um, yeah, so writing porn scripts is a, is a challenge. It's, it's not, very hard. Uh, it's much easier to write a porn novel because you have no limitations. Of course. Yeah. And, and writing a novel is actually something that um, I want to do. I just don't know um, when I'll have time. I mean, that's really what it comes down to is time because I'm churning out as many porn scripts as possible. And porn scripts take me about between five days to a few weeks, depending on the length. So it takes you longer to write it than to film it. Yes. Are you done? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. no problem. Uh, we are done in a minute. Okay. Two seconds. And yes, I want to see. Okay. So they are calling you back on set. You have yes. to direct. I have to direct actually you and Kenna in a scene where she's going to give you a little lap dance. I'm very, very much looking forward to it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I just want to say I really enjoy shooting for you thank you because it is always a twist in it yes yes there is a twist in this one for sure <laughs> and you put a lot of effort not only in your scripts also i i shot some little pickups of your equipment you're shooting with yeah that's not what you see on a regular porn no set. you don't no because i care about the quality and the quality is so important to me you know the story is one thing and the story is for me the most important aspect but when you have the visuals to back it up it makes it that much better so yeah. and you also need that makes it more difficult for you than for other directors and producers uh, a professional team who can yes. handle this equipment right not every porn director, quote unquote, no. who picks up a, Knows what they're doing. A, a camera can handle this equipment. Correct. And also, you need performers who can act a little bit. I mean, we are all not great actors. We all have no chance to play in Hollywood. But right. at least a little bit of acting is re required to work for you. Yes, of course. And I think with that, it usually comes down to intelligence. I hire smart people because smart people can emote better. And smart people are many times more perverted, I found. <laughs> yes, like you. <laughs> One of my favorite performers ever. Oh, that's a great ending. Thank you for that so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you. see you. All right, back to set. Bye. <laughs> We have to talk a little bit louder because we have uh, background sound with the traffic. Yeah, lots of traffic. <laughs> and I don't have the perfect microphone, but I fix up enough. Ah, oh, that's all that matters. So, first of all, we met today the first time. Yes. I don't know much about you, but I know that you're beautiful and you're amazingly hot and sexy. Oh. <laughs> So we already had sex. This is after our sex scene. Post sex. That's a post sex interview, and she is oh my god. <laughs> when the director told me, "Okay, ready, come shot," I was like, "What? What? <laughs> now?" <laughs> now this man is wonderful. He is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm blushing. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed it. So let's ask a few questions first of all because it. I'm curious to know sure. it, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people who know you, but not everybody. Right. So, when did you start shooting porn? I started in October of 2014, so three and a half years ago. Wow. Yeah. We never met. That's yeah. That's no, crazy. it's it's insane yeah. <laughs> that we're just now meeting. Yeah, I started 22 years ago, so <laughs> it was some time ago. <laughs> So this was when you were a baby when I started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, legitimately a baby, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, a question, because you really are fantastic. I mean, having sex with you is such a pleasure. Uh, and so what was it what drove you to porn? Have you, have you had the desire to 
uh, have sex with a lot of people before or is that something which just happened or was that the motivation to do porn? I have always been a very sexual person, but honestly porn never crossed my mind. I started out as a, I was a dancer mm -hmm. I did that for about a year and then started webcamming. Still, it had never crossed my mind. My agent found me on my webcams and he goes, have you ever considered this? And I'm like, no, but it's worth considering. I'm um, so happy that he <laughs> Me too. It's been the best experience of my entire life. I love this industry. What is, in your opinion, different than doing porn than just being a swinger and going from various people? Um, what, 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 is the, what drives you to do porn? I, I just, I, I genuinely love what I do. I love to have sex. So that's a big plus. But you are such a hot, hot girl. You can go in any bar and just pick up five guys and say, come with me. I mean, you don't need to do porn to do that. No, you don't. But I like the acceptance that the industry gives the girls and gives the guys. And it's not looked down upon. You know, in the real world, it is, unfortunately. You know, guys that go out and get all the girls, they're like, oh, that guy's a player. And his friends look up to him. The girls do it, and they're just dirty sluts. Is it also uh, is it also the aspect I heard it from various girls that they feel safe to yes. be crazy? Yes. You know, if you do that, go to a biker bar, then you never know what happens. But here you can fulfill you can count all your, on it. You, you can, can fulfill count. your fantasies and be safe. Yes, absolutely. That was my next point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Being safe is most important to me. So I feel like I get that here. Like I can tell you what my what I like, and if it gets too much, I can go, hey, we need to like tone down. Or I can go do it harder. Yeah. But I feel safe with the person that I'm with. And another question, is it also a little bit of exhibitionism to do it in front of other people and to know that thousands or maybe millions will watch it afterwards? Oh, definitely. I love it. I love when people come up and go, I love your porn. I watch it all the time. Thank you. Yeah. But if I ever quit hearing it, I quit doing porn. Okay, so keep encouraging her. <laughs> I shot a few pictures of her. I'm gonna show that in the little b uh, video here as B-roll. She is so beautiful. I mean, you see it here, but uh, I love the photos. I love taking photos of you. I mean, I could do it all day long. Aww. I'm not sure. I probably couldn't do it all day long because probably I get so horny that I want to do something else. It wouldn't just be cameras. <laughs> just pictures all day. <laughs> So thank you very much for a great, great experience. I really enjoyed shooting with you. Oh, well, thank you. You made it great. And see, tell everybody who likes this video they should subscribe to YouTube Steve Holmes Porn. Do that. Do that right now <laughs> as you watch this. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure, honey.